hello guys you're welcome to my channel again please if you have not subscribed to this channel do me a favor now and hit the subscribe button this way i do teach how to cut and sew varieties of style so today i'll be teaching you how to cut and sew a full maxi flare skirt with pocket at the front so that is, this is the measurement we'll be needing for this tutorial the round waist measurement is 32 the length of the skirt is 43 so in order to get the radius so i'm going to add two inches to the round waist making 34 so like this 32 plus 2 that is 34 so now in order to get the radius of this skirt we're going to divide this 34 by 3.14 which is the formula to calculate a circle skirt so when you divide it you'll be getting like 10.8 also so this 10.8 now plus 34 inches so to be giving us to be giving us 54 54.8 so this is the measurement we'll be needing for this so let's get started so this is the fabric I want to use for it. Just place my tape rule now to measure 54.8 into 2. So like this. So I just place it on the on the floor so that I'll be able to cut it very well just need to smooth it out like this so I'm cutting out the length that I've, that I've measured so I just hold it like this and fold and fold like this in a triangular form and I flip it in order to get the side that will be carrying the joining. This is the problem with African print. It does not always complete. So this side will be carrying joining. So I'll be measuring now the 10.8 that we got earlier. That is that is how we get our round our round waist measurement so just confirm it with the zipper allowance all together so now I'll place my tape rule to measure out my full skirt the full skirt is 43 inches but I'm measuring 44 Half of joining the band and half for the hemming. So like this, I'm done measuring. Just cut it out. So I'm cutting now the savage because I wouldn't want it to be showing on my dress. So I'm just carrying my leftover fabric. Fold like this and to place in order to complete this side that is not complete not to join it with this side like this so I'm taking out the savage of this side also so just place it on each other like this as you can see how beautiful it's looking after joining we give it beautiful ironing so it won't show that there is join on it so i take my tape pull again to start taking the full length of the skirt this method is so super easy so like this 
take the full measurement again. Mm -hmm. So I'll just cut it out. Now the full length of the skirt is out. Just cut out the round waist. So I just snatch. Then I use my pin to hold it together. So, I want to cut out the pocket now. So I just measure 9 inches inward from the front side. So, I'm going to make a straight line like this at the middle. So, this line is not going to reach down because we don't want this skirt to carry joining at the side. This is where the pocket is just going to reach so now I measure the width of the pocket then the depth is just 6.5 inches so I just connect together like this and cut it out if you have a French cup you can use it here I don't have that is why I use my hand so just carry another pieces of fabric like this so I confirm the measurement is 13 inches that is the length of the pocket so I just mark so I place it on it like this you need to pay attention this is how the pocket is cut I'll be showing you how to sew it also. So I'll just cut it out like this. Like this. So the next thing I'll be doing now, I'll be placing this first cut to another fresh fabric and then cut the full one that one is going to serve as a replacement to the one that we took off from the side serve as a replacement so that is the one we'll be joining to the back piece when we are done fixing the pocket so just cut it out like this I'll show you how it's going to be so if you are finding this video interesting, hit the subscribe button, please. So this is it. As you can see, the full pocket is out again. The full skirt is out again. So you can see, this is it. Please subscribe to my channel if you are finding this video interesting. So this is going to serve as a design around the pocket so if you're cutting your own don't make it straight you won't get it right this is the best way to do it just place the mouth of the pocket to whatever you want to use to do the design for it then you measure the wideness I measure three I measure three inches but I want the wideness to be two inches half inches for folding it and the other half for joining it so just not just chuck around like this. Then I'll cut it out. So now I'll go and join it with it 
I'll go and join into it and come and show you how it is. So as you can see, I've joined it. Now I'll use your first cut of the pocket to turn it in, to turn it in before using the second one. So let's go there. So as you can see, I just place it on it. I'll sew it through. Just notch around. So now I've taken the other full pocket that we cut. I just place it on it like this. As you can see, what I'm saying, this side is going to serve as replacement. So I suppose we'll be joining with the back piece so I just use my pin to hold it use the pin to hold this side as well so I flip it to sew it around Stop stitch on it again. So as you can see how it's looking. So the next thing I'll be doing now, doing now, just make it together to confirm the, to confirm the quality of the both pocket. As you can see, so it's very equal. So now I'll be joining the joining it and add the zip complete and come and show you. So this is the final look of this skirt. As you can see how beautiful Maxi is looking. So this is the back wow. So beautiful. So Maxi. Please if you find this video helpful. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video you can get notified. This is what you'll be getting when you subscribe to this channel. Always in detail. Thank you for watching. God bless you.